Every single one of us has been impacted by cancer in some way. And so to have a unit with nurses that are going to be uh, trained special, uh, especially for taking care of patients that are uh, being impacted by uh, cancer, to have physicians, especially trained physicians, to be able to perform research, there's just going to be a lot that we're going to be able to offer that's new and different. It would not have happened without the uh, generosity of the uh, Louise uh, Harrington family. Okay, the diagnosis was August the 23rd, 2018. I had had some ad abdominal pain for a while and they uh, did some x-rays and all. It didn't really show anything at that time because it was the pain was actually higher. Uh, and then I started bleeding. Uh, and so my personal doctor recommended that it had been nine years since I had a colonoscopy. Let's go ahead and do it. And neither, I don't think he even really expected anything and nor did I. So we went in for the uh, colonoscopy August the 23rd. Actually moving into this new space, it will allow us to provide state-of-the-art inpatient care for our complex cancer patients. They can come here and get high-quality, world-class surgical care, great nursing care at 5 Bradley Thompson. Again, beautiful facilities, really provide them with all of the things they need in terms of their rehabilitation and recovery, and we want to provide them with the optimal chance to have a great outcome. So on Sunday morning, he called and confirmed it was a cancer. He felt like it was stage two, possibly stage three, but they would need to stage it. So, and he also said he wanted to be the one to tell me not a technician, didn't want me to wait till Monday. He wanted it Sunday. And by Monday, he had scheduled me to have the procedure to stage the cancer. Now that's the goal, find people's cancer sooner so we can treat it. Uh, an investment like this in the uh, cancer center here in Tyler will only help us. Uh, we'll be able to treat people when they're here in the hospital, but will also give us the opportunity to go to those counties that are not close to Tyler, that's not Smith County. Wanted to be home, uh, that was important to me to be home because at the end of the day, after all I would have to go through, I didn't have a drive ahead of me. And the care that I had gotten up to that point very well indicated the kind of care I would continue to receive and did. If you're a cancer patient in Smith County, uh, you've got good access to care. Um, that's a blessing for our, our residents here. Our goal really is how do we get out into the counties in East Texas and bring more care to them faster. Texas Oncology has been a partner of ours for many years. So to be able to advance that partnership is significant. It's so important. How do you take the largest physician group in Northeast Texas and align that with the largest oncology group in the world? And obviously you have to be very creative, but we had to have a common vision and through a lot of work, you know, and a lot of faith, uh, we were able to successfully do that. So what this is going to allow us to do is to provide more research to patients than we did before, but more importantly, uh, align and have a strategy to have seamless patient care between the surgical subspecialties of Christus, the medical oncology, of text oncology and the radiation oncology as well, as well as allow more access to protocols than we even currently have, which is almost boundless. Texas Oncology does a tremendous amount of research in cancer care. I think probably people don't even understand the amount of it, uh, research that they do. It is amazing. And to be able to, to come together to, to uh, jointly recruit physicians, to be able to jointly create clinical programs to improve the, the care for our patients, and then ultimately look at opportunities to expand throughout Northeast Texas. Look for opportunities to invest in new technology uh, in Tyler, Texas. That's a big part of what the vision has been and the vision will be for cancer uh, for Christus Health. Well, I mean, I felt very fortunate that everything lined up, that this, you know, Dr. Curley was here at just that time. Uh, my first visit here, I had read about him and thought, I don't know where I'm going to get any better care than this. I can't imagine it being any better. And the compassion of the people at the hospital, at each clinic, from wiping a tear out of my eye to 
I mean, when they staged it, the nurse is brushing my hair back and wiping tears, you know. So, mate, yes, you could probably get that anywhere else, but it, and that wasn't an isolated incident. It was, that was a constant care that I got here. And uh, being at home and, you know, being in Tyler was, uh, we were just very fortunate that this level of care is available to us. Bradley Thompson Tower will have 24 inpatient beds. Each room is going to be a large, beautiful suite that will have plenty of room for the patients, family members, obviously our nursing and care teams. Cancer care, it requires the help of many people. So in addition to surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, nursing staff, you know, we'll have occupational therapists, physical therapists, other specialists will be coming to see the patients. That's one of the advantages we have here at Christus Trinity Mother Francis. In addition to having all the high-end oncology or cancer specialists, we have all of the other medical specialists and other surgical specialists who are there to provide care for the patient. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, the doctors were knowledgeable, but even as important as that was the compassion. I didn't want to be a number. I didn't want to be just somebody that floated through. You know, I wanted when I came in, they remembered me the next time to, to some degree. I realize they see lots of patients and that's not always possible. Well, it means we now have a place and environment in our hospital where cancer patients can get the support they need, not only from their family and friends, but from our team of healthcare providers as well. We haven't always had a space that was dedicated just to cancer patients. Uh, through, so through this generosity, through this gift that we've been given uh, by Louise Harrington, we're now able to have that dedicated environment where all we're gonna talk about, all we're gonna think about is cancer care and those patients. When you come here, you are not alone. They are very personable. I have actually have seen the radiation nurse sit in public. She remembered who I was and it was several months afterwards. Uh, they're knowledgeable. You, they've done this and they're, it's important to them to not only get your health right, but they know that healing is not just fixing the physical ailment. It's fixing the emotional and the middle. And the whole, they treat the whole package. You have caregivers and doctors and our sisters and our pastoral care staff that want to be with your spiritual well-being as well. It's something that's unique to our mission. You've probably got doctors everywhere that can do the surgery that Dr. Curley did, but I doubt there's just very few that would do it with the compassion that Dr. Curley provided in his staff. Now we can provide that high level of care, state of the art. Again, I want to emphasize my goal in coming here is to create a world-class cancer experience, a world-class cancer center.